everybody, Q Kids Ambassador Rachel here coming to you with a new video. Whether you're new to my channel or coming back for more, welcome! As a Q Kids Ambassador, I have the privilege and opportunity to coach you along the process of hiring. I am also a Q Kids teacher, which gives me the opportunity to make teaching videos. That means I have more teaching videos coming your way. So hit the subscribe button below and like this video so you never miss a beat. <laughs> As an ambassador, I can bring you the latest and greatest of what's going on. In today's video, I'm going to teach you about the first step in the process of becoming a Q-Kids teacher, that is the application. Let's get started. Whether I've met you in person at an in-person event or online, or maybe you've met me right here, right now on this video, you could have been referred to me by another Q Kids teacher who brought you to my channel to learn more. Thank you for coming here. I'm so happy to walk you along this process. Your very first step and thing you want to do when you apply at Q Kids is to make sure you have a referral code. Make sure you have a referral code. Q Kids knows that if you have a referring teacher referring you like me, they're going to help coach you along the process, give you feedback on things you need to know. When you go to apply, your referring teacher will have a referral code. It looks like this. When you click on your referring teacher's link to apply, you will see their web address like this with the referral code at the end of the web address. If you see the referral code in the web address, you know you've done it right. Go ahead, sign up to apply. You put in your email and then you make a password. Done, you've got it. <laughs> if you've clicked around on a few different links in the website looking at things and you can see in the URL above that you no longer have the referral link connected to your application, don't worry. As you go to apply, you'll put in your email, your password, and it will prompt you to put in a referral code. Then you will sign in. You will add your basic information, your name, where you live, whether you meet the current requirements of living in the United States or Canada, whether you meet the industry requirements of having a bachelor's degree or higher in anything in anything <laughs> you do not have to have a degree in teaching it can be in anything next you will see a list of optional things now because q kids is always working on the latest and greatest of how to make the application process faster you may or may not see some of these things don't worry if you don't see them as an option one thing you might see is a resume as an optional thing to do i would highly recommend with any of the optional things you do them. <laughs> you want Q Kids to have the best opportunity to get to know you and know what your qualifications are. If you already have a resume, make sure to tweak your resume to highlight what your teaching qualifications are. If you don't have a resume, don't worry. Keep it simple. All they really need to know is your name where you live, what your degree is in, what your experience with children is. It's pretty simple and maybe what other certifications you may have. Now experience with children. You might already be a teacher. Maybe you volunteered in your community or in your church with children. Maybe you've tutored, you were a nanny, maybe you have children, you homeschooled or your neighbor has children and you play with them. <laughs> Whatever it is, put your experience on the application. All of those things count. Next, you might see computer specs. Don't worry, as long as your computer is not a dinosaur, QKids software is phenomenal. I recommend uploading your computer specs. If you don't know where to find those, I have linked down below QKids blog. It'll walk you through how to find that on your computer. Then they will ask you if you are available to teach the minimum number of required classes per week. That's 12 classes per week, which is only six hours. Easy peasy. The reason why they do this is because Q Kids books your classes for you. La! <laughs> In the industry of online teaching, this is phenomenal that they book classes for you. By doing this, they want to make sure they have a good ratio of student 
to teacher. They balance that very well, something you will appreciate as a teacher, something that is unique to Q Kids and beyond phenomenal. You will not see this in other companies. They have a very flexible and lenient cancellation policy. You want to give Q Kids at least a five hour notice if something comes up. I can't tell you how many times one of my children have come to me and said, oh, I have a soccer game tonight, I have a birthday party, and they didn't tell me. <laughs> as long as you give them a five hour notice, you will be able to cancel with no penalty. This is huge, with no penalty. Q Kids knows that you want to go on vacation, that things come up, you get sick, your child gets sick, your husband work schedule changes, things happen, and they are there for you. Such a huge asset. Next part is the video. Right on QKids application page, you will record a video, basic introduction, and then show your teaching skills. Now, if you have come to my video because you're looking for answers why maybe you were denied, there are only two reasons why someone gets denied when they apply with QKids. One, and not the most common, is we're not hiring. Because they do have that minimum number of required hours, they know how many teachers to expect to match up with how many students they have. They want to give you as many classes as their current teacher as they possibly can and keep you happy. Sometimes, on rare occasion, they are not hiring. But this is not common because they are constantly creating new content, constantly making new themes, partnering with new companies and expanding to new countries, it is not common for them to not be hiring. So number two, if you get denied as a teacher in the application process, it's the video. Redo the video, sign up again, use my link below. I will be your referring teacher and redo the video. Take it again, you can do this. All right, video time. In the video, you'll give your name. You don't even need to give your last name. Keep it simple. As an ambassador, I can tell you the new latest and greatest things they're expecting. Your name, your location, city and state, and then say what you're ready to do. I'm ready, ready, ready. I'm ready to upload my bachelor certificate. That means you have it. I'm ready to upload my TESOL certificate. That means you have it. I'm ready to start working right away. Okay, I said something you might not recognize if you're not in the online teaching world, TESOL certificate. If you're in the online teaching world, you already have this because it's industry standard. If you're already a teacher, if you teach your own kids, if you just are phenomenal at what you do, this is something you will still want because it teaches you how to teach online. And maybe you do not have any teaching experience or a very small amount. You will really appreciate this teaching certificate. Now, I've got you. I have an affiliate link down below. Click on the link, it'll take you right to the one that you need. How I did this for my learning style is I logged in. I read through all of the information, took notes, everything that I thought, oh, that's helpful. Oh, I will want to know that. I highlighted those things. I printed some of the things out. And then when I was ready to take the quiz, I had my information page up and my quiz page up. And as you answer the quiz questions, a lot of them, especially after taking the course and reading through everything, watching the videos, learning, you will know the answers. There will be a few that you'll go, mm, they worded that kind of funny, I'm not exactly sure. You can toggle back and forth and look at the information and then go back to the questions. It makes it super simple and easy, quick to go through, but also for me and my learning style, it increased my ability to pick up on even more by doing it that way. Now, a TESOL certificate, I will tell you, is not required when you apply for QKids, not required. However, I highly recommend it and let me tell you why. If you have two applicants that are applying, let's say QKids has a huge amount of teachers that are applying in one time and you have two people you're comparing between. One has a TESOL certificate ready to go. They say that in the video, I've got it, it's, I'm ready to upload it right to you. And the other one just doesn't have it yet, but they say, I'm ready to take it, I'm ready to do this. <laughs> they will hire the person who has the TESOL certificate ready because industry standard, and I can tell you this, as a QKids uh, ambassador, industry standard is going toward and will be requiring a TESOL certificate for everyone, no matter if you have a teacher's degree, if you're already a current teacher or not, everyone will be required to have a TESOL. 
Let's say that you do get asked to move on and you don't have a TESOL yet, you will be required to have your TESOL completed before you can teach with Q Kids. You won't be able to get very far along in the process and you will still have to take it anyway. I would highly recommend when you're being compared between two different teachers, you and someone else, you want to give yourself best opportunity possible to move on to the next step. So click the link below, get your TESOL. It does not take a long time and it's very helpful. All right. Those are the things you'll say in the beginning of the video. Then they want to see how you teach. And this is really what the video is about, how you teach. As an ambassador, I can tell you QKids is updating this process. It used to be, and it's quite industry standard, that you would read a book. But uh, reading a book, even though it's good interaction, there are some limitations that will not be able to showcase everything you can do. So they have added a few other options of things you can do. One is teaching an object, maybe your hand. Another is a picture. Maybe you're teaching them children. And another is, of course, reading the book. Now this can be a book that you have, or maybe a poem that you know, or a book that you've written. You can literally draw a book on a piece of paper and read that book. They want to keep it simple for you. Whatever works best for you, whatever you would prefer. If you're teaching an object, three objects. If you're teaching a picture, three pictures. If you're teaching a book, about three pages. You really don't even need to read the whole book. This does not need to be a long or complicated video. Brief introduction in the beginning. They're looking for some key things in this interaction. This is what they're looking for in a teacher who wants to teach online. Modeling. You're modeling with your hands. You're modeling and instructing the kids what to do. You're using your hands to count out a word when maybe you're saying, it's a bear. You're using your fingers to show them what to do. We are saying three words. You are saying three sounds, maybe in, a, in one word, something with three syllables. It helps them break it down. It helps them simplify the language. Now, something to tell you, in China, they are required to take English in school. So they do get instruction on maybe sentence structure or grammar or things like that in school. What they do not get a lot of practice with is pronunciation. So they want to hear you. They want to have you count out those words, those syllables. Our languages are very different. So anything you can do to help bridge that gap. Another is prompting the students so they know what to do. You are speaking, then you are listening. Maybe you're saying apple. So they're looking at your mouth, apple. Now you're listening to them. Maybe they're shy and they're not speaking. You're saying apple and they're not speaking and you put your hand up. You could also apple, apple. You're letting them know it's your turn. I'm ready to listen to you. Another thing is repetition. Apple, apple, apple. You can say this in different tones. You can sing it out. Apple, apple, apple. They will love it. They will eat it up. All that interaction helps so much. It's exciting for them. Another thing is feedback. Good job. Woohoo. Good job. Thumbs up, high five, or verbal. Good job. Whatever fits your teaching style. Then friendliness. This the smile. Children will decide in six seconds if they think you're going to be a good teacher. So show up with the best thing you've got, your smile. Greet them warmly, be friendly. They will feel your passion, so smile. And the last one is clear communication. You do not need to use lots of extra words unless you're teaching an upper level, which Q Kids does have that and they're so fun to teach. You're going to keep it simple because if I'm talking to just you, I will say, oh, look at this book. Have you seen this book? Have you read this book? I love this book. My children love this book, right? <laughs> when you're speaking to a young learner, just be simple. Bear. Bear. Brown bear. Rawr. So let me show you what this would look like. You're here. You're ready to do your video. You've uploaded everything else. Video is on. So this is what you can do. Let me give you an idea of an object you can teach. Maybe hand is the object you want to teach. So you can say hand. 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 <laughs> It's a hand. 
Good. It's a hen. Yes, very good. High five, hand. <laughs> ah, smile, laugh, engage. I can't tell you how many times I get done teaching my group of classes, I take my headset off and I just laugh and I tell myself, I can't believe I get paid to do this. It's fun, interact with them, enjoy it. They will feel that from you. They will love it. They will eat it up. All right, next you can teach a picture. Now, if I'm teaching a picture, I would like to teach this in a progression of ideas. Well, maybe the main idea is children. Let's try this out. Children. 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 I see children. I see children. Good. I see children. I see children. Great job. Great job. Bus. Bus. <laughs> toot toot. <laughs> Say toot toot. <laughs> Good. Toot toot. <laughs> Good job. Children ride the bus. Children ride the bus. Good job. High five. All right, it's that simple. So let me show you what an application video can look like. Hello, my name is Rachel. I live in Orlando, Florida. I'm ready to upload my bachelor certificate. I'm ready to upload my TESOL. I'm ready to work right away and I'm so excited to get started with you. Today, I'd like to read you a book called Baby Bear, Baby Bear, What Do You See? Now, I would put the book down. In the classroom, it's rare to use props because QKids has such a fun and interactive platform. You don't need them. What you need are your hands. Red Fox, Red Fox, what do you see? Hmm. I see a flying squirrel flying by me. Flying squirrel, flying squirrel, what do you see? I see a mountain goat climbing by me. Look, mountain goat, mountain goat. Good, meh, <laughs> good. Mountain goat. Mountain goat, mountain goat, what do you see? I see a blue herring flying by me. Flying. <laughs> flying. You fly. Good high five. Very good job. All right, people, that's it. Just keep it simple. Keep it fun. Use all the things I talked about before. Your smile. Speak slowly. Clearly. Repetition. Prompt with your hands. I speak. I hear. Modeling. Counting things out. And that's it. A few things to keep in mind as you're recording your videos. Your camera angle. You do not want to be down here. You do not want to be looking up at the camera like that. You want to have it eye level. You do not want to be too close or too far. Keep a good frame right here. Now, lighting. Do not go out and buy anything at this point. Use your lamps, use what you have in your house. Don't put your lighting behind you because it'll create a shadow on your face. They want to see your face. Put it behind your computer because it will illuminate your face. Then your background. Don't worry, I've got you covered. If you would like a free sign, click the link below to my website and I'll give you a free QKid sign. This will make you look professional. If you show up with a QKid sign, put your name on it. It gives you that one up in that application video. So 
either make something, you can cut out stars and put them on your wall. This is a picture my daughter drew. Use anything you have around your house. If you do not have anything to use, just keep a clean, clear background. That means no windows in the background, no doors in the background. Clean and clear. And then how you're dressed. I'll be honest, in the classroom, I wear my Marvel t-shirts regularly. The kids love it. When they ask for a Captain America mask and they see my Captain America star on my shirt, they love it, they eat it up. But for the application video, keep it nice, keep it clean, keep it simple, keep it professional, nothing loud, no loud colors, nothing distracting on you or in your background. And then most of all, have fun. When you are having fun and engaging in this video, they will see that. They will know you will be able to interact with the children this way and they will want to move on with you through the application process. I have many links for you down below. I've said a lot of things. There are things you might want to buy. I have links of my favorite lamps that I use to highlight my face, my headset. I have all those links below. I've got you. Where to get your TESOL, where to go from here, next steps, many links below. It's been my pleasure and privilege to walk you through this application process with QKids as an ambassador for them. If you do not have a referring teacher, I would love to be your referring teacher. I would love to walk you through this process. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, to like this video so I can keep making more videos and you won't miss a beat. All right, everybody, until next time, happy teaching.